Hi guys, it's Kiyako here, back with another speed build. Today we're building a bougie pier side cafe. Um, you might be thinking that's kind of specific, why a bougie pier side cafe? Um, basically, I wanted to build a cafe that was on the water um, near, you know, like on a pier. Um, but for some reason, I kind of went in this kind of like bougie fancy aesthetic kind of direction. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. I think I was a little bit inspired by um, the show Big Little Lies, to be honest, if you guys have seen it. Um, I've seen all of it, I really like that show, but it takes place in um, Monterey Bay. Um, and kind of like this very wealthy community. And it's like right on the water. And that's kind of like a really cool vibe that I was kind of like thinking of at the time when I was building this. So I think that's, you know, was the influence here. Um, so like I said, it's a Pierce Light Cafe, kind of expensive, probably uh, very bougie, definitely a place where, you know, you know, the rich moms will go, you know, after dropping their kids off from school to come here and, you know, do all their gossipy stuff. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely very inspired by Big Little Lies. Um, but that's not what the build is. It's just, you know, a nice pure side cafe. Um, I would definitely love to go here. Definitely seems like a vibe. Um, I also just really like the view of the water. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. Um, like I said, it is Wednesday, which is hump day, right? That's what they call it, hump day. It's in the middle of the week. Um, and boy, oh boy, has this been a week for me, or at least the past couple weeks um I've mentioned this like here and there on and off but I've been like so busy you guys I mean first of all there's the whole drive thing with my hard drive getting wiped and then me having to like redo my entire game and that was pretty frustrating uh, but also just like in my you know work and school life I've had a lot of stuff to do and I've been a little bit stressed out and a little bit busy um, so that's kind of where my head has been at so if I sound tired it's because I am I'm very sleep deprived right now um, but you know <laughs> That's the, that's the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> um, but I'm actually really, really happy with this build. I built this like last night, like very, very late at night, you guys. That's why I'm sleep deprived to be honest is because I built this so late at night. Um, but I really like how it turns out. I feel like it definitely has like such a really like cool vibe. Um, like I said, I would love to eat here. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Also, let me know if you guys have any, um, like name ideas for this cafe. Cause like, I usually don't usually name my builds. Like sometimes I do, but usually I don't. Um, it's not like my best talent. I don't, I'm not really good at naming places. So let me know if you guys have any name ideas. Cause I'm sure you guys will come up with some really cool stuff. Um, also, I kind of like was messing around with my reshade a little bit more and I think I got it closer to what it used to be, you know, before my hard drive crash, um, than what my past two videos have been. Um, so I think this is what, I think this is good. I, I'm gonna have to tweak it around a little bit more to get it just like a little bit, a little bit better. Um, but I think this is better than it has been the past two days. I don't know why reshade has been so finicky for me and I'm just like honestly not very good at using it because I don't like fully understand like all the settings and all the things like that. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. I really I really like this aesthetic. I feel like we got this nice like warm glow to the game um, and all my objects look really nice. The only thing though is like when I was playing or when I was building, um, I, like my eyes felt like they were burning out of my skull to be honest because like my, the whites and in this like particular setup are so bright like I was like blinded um so let me know if you guys feel the same way if you feel like I need to turn my whites down or if you feel like it's okay um I think looking back at it now watching it now I do I think it's okay I think it's fine but <laughs> over time I feel like I'm slowly just gonna go blind because <laughs> it was very very bright you guys um but anyways back to the build we're having this um outdoor area here which I felt was pretty essential since we're right by the water and I feel like the environment is definitely like part of the vibe um and we have these really cute little fire pits which I feel like would be so nice to you know get a coffee or not maybe, maybe not late at night because I, I feel like the fire pits would be used late at night uh, maybe like a hot chocolate or something and then you could sit by the fireplace with your friends and you know be by the water I feel like ugh, that's such a vibe yeah, I'm definitely like vicariously living through the Sims because I that sounds so nice to me right now. I definitely need a break from all the work I've been doing, but you know, it's almost the end of the term for me, so I will get a break pretty soon. And during that amount of time, I do plan on chugging out some really good builds for you guys, um, which I feel like I have been. I, I'm, I've been really proud of my past couple builds. Um, I feel like switching to three days a week rather than five is definitely already like ha has been very beneficial to me. Like I can already see my schedule feeling less full. I can already see myself, you know, having more time and care and effort into these builds for you guys. Um, and I definitely think that was the right move. So again, let me know if you guys have any questions about my new schedule, but I'm, it's pretty straightforward. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you guys will hear from me. Um, but yeah, so now we're on the inside of the cafe. 
a lot of wood as you can tell we have like a lot a lot of wood tones throughout this whole thing um i was trying to balance the wood tones with like some black and white and like some other um you know textures and colors um but <laughs> there is like a lot of wood in this build so if you are not a fan of wood textures um just be prepared for that by the way if you guys hear like meowing or yowling or just like a cat being upset that is my cat in the background um my roommates are currently cleaving our, our living room so my cat is confined to my room with me and he's not very happy about that and he's letting me know so if you guys hear anything um, I promise you I'm not torturing him. He is just being a little brat. I'm looking at him right now and he is definitely not happy. <laughs> but don't worry, he will be out later on. Anyways, so back to this build. You can see we have this little area here, this little kitchen area which is where, you know, all the cafe stuff will be cooked, coffee made, drinks, stuff like that. Um, and it's directly connected to the area where the cashiers will sit. So I really like these windows that are like half open so that the cashiers um, or just like the people in the kitchen can like open and close them to, you know, whatever they need. Um, and we also have like these open windows along uh, some of the walls so you get like the nice ocean breeze right through the cafe which I feel like would be so nice. Um, the windows on the other side of the kitchen also open up into our outdoor area so people who are sitting in the outdoor area can like look into the kitchen like see you know the food and the drinks being made which I feel like is so like awesome for the atmosphere. I love that. Don't you guys love that like when restaurants or cafes or like anything food based like has like an open kitchen or has like a window to the kitchen so you can see the food being made. I don't know why like I always like really really liked that experience of being able to like see the people there like work their craft and like make food for other people I don't know it's just been always my favorite part of restaurants that you know do that so I definitely wanted to incorporate it here and have like this nice um you know through line through the cafe you know what I mean um and like I said with the ocean breeze and stuff I feel like the the open windows were definitely like super necessary um, but anyway, so in here we just have like coffee maker machines. Um, there's a little uh, board right here we're gonna put up, which is like a little chalkboard. Um, so they can write, I don't know, like notes about their shifts and stuff, I guess. Um, and then there is also like a little outdoor um, connection to the outdoor area. Um, but moving on, we're now on the inside part. So we're gonna have a little seating area over here, which is right next to the bathroom. It's so probably not the best place to sit in the cafe, but still a very cute little seating area. Um, and we have some wooden dividers up so that, you know, you can get a little bit of privacy in this room. Um, but yeah, we keep this interior space pretty simple. We just have, you know, some little seating areas. We're gonna put in like a little couch area, which is gonna be so cute, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Here I am pulling in some plants because I wanted to pull in colors that weren't black, white, or wood. <laughs> so we are gonna pull in a little bit of green here to kind of, you know, mix it up a little, bring in some contrast. Um, and I, I like the plants I chose, but I do feel like, like, in terms of like context if this cafe existed in real life those plants would probably be like local plants like something from the monterey bay area um you know from around you know the ocean area or something like that just to like really tie in this place to like the surrounding context you know what i mean um but yeah over here is the little seating area i talked about we have another little fireplace um because if you guys don't know uh it can get kind of cold when you're right by the sea <laughs> so i definitely figured you know with the fire pits outside having a fireplace on the inside would just be like another cute little touch um we have these like nice low comfy chairs we're gonna put in a coffee table so you can sit by the fire with that open window there look at the sea definitely such a vibe i would uh, i would love to chill here you guys um but frankly i would like to chill anywhere right now because i am just i need to chill <laughs> um but we're gonna put in um the sign for the cafe above the fireplace just to i guess <laughs> brand the inside as well um i don't think this would be like a chain or anything like this definitely is like a like a local place but it's very highly successful because they're so expensive and they're probably in a really rich community like i mentioned um but they do have a lot of branding going on so maybe they have like a Maybe they have like one or two stores like in the area or something like that, like a small like local brand, but like nothing, not nationwide or anything like that. Um, here is this very, very long table. We have some stools against it so that people can, you know, sit down and we have like this communal area where everyone can drink their coffee together. You can come into this cafe, do some work, um, you know, read, something like that, um, and just just chill oh my god this sounds so nice you guys you know i'm probably gonna go to starbucks or something tomorrow and just do exactly that because something about like just like hanging out in a cafe is such a vibe for me let me know if that's just me or if any of you guys feel the same way but i just like really like cafes and i love how they smell because i love the smell of coffee and this place would smell like coffee 
and the ocean, which I don't know if that would smell good together, but I think it might, so let's hope that it does. Um, here are the screenshots of the build. I think this turned out really great. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and let me know, you know, if you've ever been to Monterey or anything like that. Okay, if you if you kind of like get what I'm referencing here, um, especially in terms of like the big little eyes vibe. Um, and if you haven't seen that show, I definitely recommend it. It's great cast. I think it's won some Emmys and it's absolutely fantastic. Anyways, <laughs> as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll... That was my cat. And I'll see you next time.